You can't go camping without s'mores. It's probably the biggest temptation for me when camping. This camp trip, I came prepared with a batch of keto s'mores. And today I'm gonna show you how to make those keto graham crackers and marshmallows. These s'mores taste like the real deal. They're easy to make and they can be made days ahead of time. So follow along so you can enjoy s'mores too. For the graham crackers, you want to add two and a half cups of almond flour to a food processor, then a third cup of coconut flour, and a half a cup of Lakanto monk fruit. Also you need a quarter cup of swerve, one teaspoon of baking powder and xanthan gum, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, also the salt too. Then you're going to pulse that a couple of times in the food processor to combine everything up. Then you're going to add three ounces of cold butter cut into cubes and just give it a good pulse again until it forms coarse crumbles. Then add three tablespoons of heavy cream and a teaspoon of vanilla too. Then pulse it all again until it forms a dough ball. Look, there's a nice dough ball right there. Press the dough out onto parchment paper until it forms a one inch thick disc. Then refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Next, you're going to roll the dough out until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. I find it easiest to roll if you have a piece of parchment paper on top of the dough. Using a pizza cutter, cut the dough into one and a half inch squares. You could also use a knife for this too, but I just find the pizza cutters a lot easier. Then with a fork, just prick each square about three or four times. This is gonna allow for air to escape when it's baking. Then just hop it on a baking tray and bake at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. After the crackers have cooled, run a knife along the scored edges to break them off into individual crackers. Keto graham crackers can be stored at room temperature in an airtight container for about a couple of weeks. For the marshmallows, start with three tablespoons of gelatin and dissolve it in a half a cup of cold water plus a tablespoon of vanilla. Whisk it all together until it looks like applesauce. And then you're gonna set it aside so you can work on the rest of the marshmallow ingredients. Using a saucepan, you wanna add a cup of water and a cup of confectioner swerve and also a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk it all together until it's combined, and you're gonna cook this over medium-high heat until it reaches a temperature of 240 degrees on a thermometer. This will take about 10 minutes to achieve. Once you've reached softball stage on the thermometer, pour it into the gelatin mixture, and then use an electric mixture and beat it until you have a creamy marshmallow consistency. This is probably going to take about 7 to 10 minutes of beating, but you'll know it's done because it's going to be marshmallow creamy. It's going to look like marshmallow cream. Then you're going to pour this into a square baking dish that's lined with parchment paper and spread it out with a spatula. You're also going to let it cool for about 4 hours uncovered at room temperature. 
And once it's ready, just cut it out into its desired shape. I like to use little squares. And then you're gonna dust each little square with confectioner swerve. These keto marshmallows can be stored at room temperature in an airtight container for a week. For the chocolate and my s'mores, I like to use Lily's Milk Chocolate Bars. They're sweetened with stevia and erythritol instead of sugar. I hope you make keto s'mores on your next camping trip or just enjoying your backyard fire pit. Don't forget to check out my other keto camping videos. I'll leave the link in the playlist below so you can check them out. And don't forget to subscribe for more keto camping meal ideas. You can use these keto marshmallows to make s'mores dip too. Just butter a skillet, add keto chocolate on the bottom followed by keto marshmallows and broil it for a few minutes until it's golden. Dip it in with pork rinds or keto graham crackers.